Picture a man in his late 60s who works really hard. And um, the other owner, um, a woman, his sister, she works really, really hard too. And they were tired. You could kind of see it in their faces. You could see that they, and he told me, he's like, Rick, I work hard. I start at 3 in the morning every single morning and work till 7 or 8 at night. As we talked about this, we went through, we had the number, and um, they, I asked him how much gas is in your tank. They're like, you know, we're blinking on empty, both of us. We're just burnt out and we're done. We need to get this business sold. So we looked at the $1.2 million and I explained to them that they needed to get with a financial planner, plug that into a sophisticated model, and make sure that that was going to be enough for their retirement. And um, he looked at me and he said, Rick, we don't have to do that. This is not going to be enough. No need for an exit plan. This is just simply not going to be enough. My heart sank. And uh, his exit plan became one of just keeping the business and running the business and doing what he'd done forever. And the only way that he knew uh, to tackle problems was just to hit them head on and just to work harder instead of smarter. And as I left that meeting, my heart was, was sad. I was so sad for those people. I was just like, oh, it was a downer for a couple of days because I knew what their retirement was going to, I'm going to say non-retirement was going to be like. And I was, I was like, Rick, we need to do better. You know, I'm having this little, this little self-talk to myself. I'm like, you know, we've got to do better than this if we're going to help these people out. We need to get to them earlier. In fact, the lady in the, in the meeting said, oh, Rick, I wish we'd have met you five years ago. You know, and I, me too. <laughs>